we greet you all in the mighty and wonderful name of our lord and savior jesus christ may the name of the lord be glorified amen hallelujah hallelujah so today we are going to look into how did jesus see women amen so women in the view of jesus christ in the new testament times jesus christ often taught unexpected things like love your enemy because uh, we love our self only we love our uh, our loved ones we love our family we love our children but jesus said love your enemy and bless those who curse you pray for those who persecute you so these are some unexpected uh, you know teachings from jesus christ followingly jesus was in trying to fit in the defied culture of his time jesus christ was in trying to fit in the defied culture of his time but he was trying to teach a higher law and show us how to treat each other he was setting an example of love that was in limited to a particular age gender or nationality so the world jesus came largely discriminated against women jesus included women where jewish piety the rabbis largely excluded them like the pharisees and the sadducees and so called all the religious groups women were excluded from participation in synagogue worship restricted to a spectator role and forbidden to enter the temple beyond the court of the women a woman was not to touch the scriptures lest she defile them women were to be shunned in public social contact women were not to be publicly taught the torah women were restricted from orally communicating the torah to others even to their children women did not have the right to bear public witness in judicial cases such burdensome restrictions certainly went far beyond what the old testament taught about the women's role outside the home i just want to repeat it such burdensome restrictions certainly went far beyond what the old testament taught about the women's role outside the home during the old testament period women were exempt from requirement to attend the annual festivals we can read this in exodus chapter 23 and verse 17 but they were permitted to attend if they were able to do so we can read in 1 samuel chapter 1 and verse 9 as uh, hannah entered into the temple and did all her whatever the needed to do in the temple not only this women were able to serve at the door of the tabernacle wow in the old testament times we can see that women were able to serve at the door of tabernacle we can read this in exodus 38 verse 8 and women in numbers chapter 6 and verse 2 says take a nazarite vow women took a nazarite vow and nehemiah chapter 8 we can read they hear the word of god and they engaged in musical ministry exodus chapter 15 verse 20 to 21 and 1 chronicles chapter 25 and verse 6 we know miriam uh, she was in the musical ministry and not only the miriam was also called a prophetess so and sometimes even in prophecy also women were you know used like a deborah so exodus 15 verse 21 and judges chapter 4 and verses 6 to 7 we can read it is clear however that the office of the priest was limited to male members of the priestly line we can read it in exodus chapter 28 verse 1 and numbers chapter 18 and verses 1 through 7 apart from this restriction there was far more freedom for women than has often been taught so in the old testament times 
the women were very free to do their work outside of their family amen so in the centuries following the close of the old testament however the rabbis instituted practices that went beyond the biblical norms and resulted in much greater restrictions of women's privileges we need to understand it's not the bible who restricted the women when jesus came his attitude towards women in his ministry comes as a breath of fresh air on an arid plain and dry plain a waterless plain amen hallelujah so when jesus came his attitude towards women many were astonished about this because jesus cared for his mother jesus treated outcast women with respect jesus appeared to women after his resurrection jesus compassion towards the widow of nain raised her son from death jesus cried along with martha and mary on the death of their only brother lazarus and that he gave his life back and so on we can say so many you know uh, so many incidences from the bible amen hallelujah so in his public ministry jesus in his public ministry he never uttered a word of depreciation or humiliation regarding women they never were the object of cruel jokes or criticisms or were they ever put down for being women in his condemnation of adultery and divorce in matthew chapter 5 and verses 27 to 28 you have heard that it was said you shall not commit adultery but i tell you that anyone who looks at a woman lustfully has already committed adultery with her in his heart and following matthew chapter 19 verse 8 jesus says he replied moses permitted you to divorce your wives because your hearts were hard matthew chapter 19 verse 8 jesus replied moses permitted you to divorce your wives because your hearts were hard but it was not this way from the beginning and verse 9 i tell you that anyone who divorces his wife except for sexual immorality and marries another woman commits adultery so in both the places in matthew chapter 5 and matthew chapter 19 in both the places jesus taught that women were not to be treated as sex objects It is very interesting to know from Luke chapter 4 and verses 25 to 26 Jesus used the example of a woman to rebuke the faithless men of his generations Jesus used the example of a woman to rebuke the faithless men of his time chapter luke uh, luke chapter 4 and verse 25 says i assure you that there were many widows in israel in elijah's time when the sky was shut for 3 and a half years and there was a severe famine throughout the land verse 26 yet elijah was not sent to any of them but to a widow of zarifath in the region of sidon amen and luke chapter 11 verse 31 the queen of the south will rise at the judgment with the people of his generation and condemn them for she came from the ends of the earth to listen to solomon's wisdom amen the arrival of queen of sheba or the queen of south occurs in 1 kings chapter 
the queen had heard about solomon's fame and his relationship with the lord so she came to solomon with a list of deep questions according to the scriptural account solomon answered all her questions the queen believed as she received answers while face to face with solomon king solomon jesus refers to the queen's arrival saying that in the final judgment even this queen the queen of sheba being skeptical until she met with solomon personally will condemn the current generation for their lack of faith since one greater than solomon is here so jesus used the example of a woman the women of uh, uh, the widow in the sarifath uh, village and uh, the queen of south as an example to rebuke the faithless men of his generation women were always honored in jesus teaching and never humiliated to illustrate faith and determination jesus used a women in his parables like look uh, chapter 18 verse 2 to 8 the persistent widow it says then jesus told his disciples a parable to show them that they should always pray and not give up he said in a certain town there was a judge who neither feared god nor cared what people thought and there was a widow in that town who kept coming to him with a plea grant me justice against my adversary for some time he refused but finally he said to himself even though i don't fear god or care what people think yet because this widow keeps bothering me i will see that she gets justice so that she won't eventually come and attack me in luke chapter 15 verses 8 to 10 the women searching for the lost coin suppose a woman has 10 silver coins and loses one doesn't she light a lamp sweep the house and search carefully until she finds it and when she finds it she calls her friends and neighbors together and says rejoice with me i have found my lost coin in the same way i tell you there is rejoicing in the presence of the angels and god over one sinner who repents amen hallelujah so jesus highlights the persistency of that widow and the faith she had and the rejoice of the women who finds her lost coin back so jesus never uttered a word that would support the idea of treating women as intrinsically inferior to men jesus never taught women are inferior even in his teachings he gave the high value of the women it's not jesus used only in his teachings about the women but how about his actions in today's world we know that how the women are treated but jesus he was the best example for us he is the best example for us even today so we saw in his teachings he was honoring the women how about in action you can see women in jesus actions it was not only in what he taught but also in how he related to women publicly that jesus displayed a truly revolutionary attitude in the sense that he was overthrowing the wrong social conventions of his day he was overthrowing all the wrong thoughts about the women in his day let's look into some of the incidents in his ministry each of the incidents involved of a women Jesus always shout to minister to women he never deny them he never ignore them even if it meant risking 
the misunderstanding of his male disciples he still went along amen so jesus very public ministry to the samaritan women at the well we can read it in john chapter 4 uh, and verses 1 through 42 he not only talked to the women in public he instructed her and revealed himself to her as the messiah amen so he not only talked with that women in the public area in the well near the jacob's well but he also revealed himself to that particular women he crossed all the boundaries he crossed all the obstacles in his times even this woman is not even a jew she was a samaritan woman he crossed all the boundaries to reveal himself to that particular woman amen hallelujah hallelujah so to this in uh, chapter 4 john gospel john's gospel 27 says the disciples astonished at jesus actions they marveled that he talked with the women they marveled because no jewish rabbi or jewish people talked with the women in the public they don't even bother about it even with their mother or a wife jesus did not follow the rabbinic idea to not engage in public discourse with the women jesus never followed their idea the whole society following one idea but jesus stood out from that society amen hallelujah hallelujah he never bothered about what the society is going to tell about him but he wants to honor the women in john's gospel chapter 7 verses 53 it says in the case of a woman taken in adultery provides another example of his compassionate attitude toward women we know this incident so the people brought an adulterous woman to jesus what jesus did he rebuked her accusers he rebuked the people who brought her they brought this women on adultery but they never brought the men they conveniently ignored the guilty man only the women they brought it so while not approving her action jesus said this never approved her actions but what he did is he says in john chapter 8 verse 11 go and sin no more amen jesus said go and sin no more his tender dealing with this woman contrasted sharply with the harsh and hypocritical attitude of those who were so quick to pronounce the sentence of death upon her Jesus dealt with this woman with a very tender heart compassionate heart at the same time he never approved of her guilty he said go and sin no more in luke chapter 10 verse 38 to 42 the incident in the house of mary and martha recorded in this chapters so what does it says it's again another example of jesus practice of contravening the accepted social norms of his day regarding the instruction of women jesus not only took the time to instruct mary but his words to martha indicate that mary had actually chosen that good part amen so mary was at the feet of jesus christ 
Martha was doing his uh, work in the kitchen. While Jesus would never have condemned a woman for attending a household duties. He never condemned Martha. He will commanded Mary for desiring to study and learn the word. The rabbis thought women were intellectually inferior and incapable of study. But Jesus evidently thought otherwise. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So in his time, we could see only Mary who was sitting at the feet of Jesus. There is no any other male person. Not only this, in Jesus' ministry, women were the last ones at the cross when all of the male disciples except John forsook their master and fled. And they were also the first ones at the tomb. And it was the women whom Jesus chose to be the first witness of his resurrection. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Dear people of God, Jesus showed an example for us. As a man, are you following the footsteps of Christ? If only we follow the footsteps of Christ, the crime rate against the women and the girl child would come to an end in our nation and in all over the world. There are so many crimes happening every day, every hour in our country. Happening against the women and the girl child. Dear people of God, let's change our society. Let's be a change. And let's follow the footsteps of Jesus Christ. He not only taught about how to honor women, but he also, he himself honored women. He never condemned any women. He never saw a woman as an inferior. But he honored them. As a woman, let's be encouraged to follow Jesus with all of our heart all of our mind and all of our soul. During this Lent season, as we are all on a fast, let's crucify our flesh and all the thoughts of the world on the cross of Calvary. Lust of the flesh, lust of the eyes, and the pride of the life. Let's crucify all this. Let's come out of all these worldly things. Let's stand out Let's not join with the majority. Like Jesus Christ, let's stand out. Let's not compromise and be with the majority. Let's put on the mind of Christ and walk in his footsteps. God bless you.